water. Oh gosh. Hey, I tell you that. Well, <laughs> edges. I drugged the skid plate again. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I am up inside of a mountain. Trying to get back out of here. In my last video, I came up here and that was a total ridiculous workout, but it's actually more than this Trail 125 wants to do. And this stuff is ridiculously loose. This little gravel stuff here, you can't even hardly get on this side slope because it, you just can't stay there. It just slides. So you need to stay in the low part, not up on that. And when you're trying to climb a hill, super hard to do. I mean, it's super hard to keep your line because it's just wanting to go everywhere. I had to pretty much just barely make it up this part of this. I actually walked it up while throttling. So, I mean, this is, you can't tell it, but if you can tell by my brakes and how I'm doing this, this is stupid, super steep here. And ledger, I see them rocks. It got up, up high up there. I just couldn't go no further. I mean, the ledge, but probably three or four, three or four foot straight up ledge. There's just no way I can go up it on this CT or the 300. <laughs> either one. I dang sure wouldn't take my Jeep up here either. Holy, this is stupid. I'd rather go down it than up it myself. I mean, it's less. Yeah, I can't say it's. Tear my mirror off. I can't say it's less workout. It's. Oh, goodness. That's rough. Whew. My dust is catching up with me. But. It's still a lot of workout, but. At least on this Trail 125. Oh, my God. There's no way I'd want to try it on the 300. Uh -uh. This one may not have the power, but it's just so much safer. And I'm not into getting stupid these days. I've been stupid when I was young. That's over with. Whoa. And some people probably think this is stupid. If you've seen it and you was out here with your bike, you see exactly what I'm talking about. It wouldn't sound so easy or look so easy. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. A little stair step here makes it better. Not as steep. Whew. But then we turn, I think we go down again here. Definitely turn my mirror. Whew. And that pipe just goes on and on, on forever up through here. It goes up to that spring up there, I guess. There's some sandy spots like right here. People go up that in the side by side and you can probably make it in one of those. You get four wheel drive and I'd imagine you could go up through there. Oh gosh. Hey, I tell you that. <laughs> well, edges. I drugged the skid plate again. Well, this is a definitely the last video on this one. <laughs> is the biggest workout the C T125 has had. And as I said, it's actually more than you should be doing on it. It's too much. Even if it's lower geared, it's just too much, too steep. Uh, some of these rocks are just too big. And if you don't mind banging it up. <laughs> Pipe just goes everywhere. I'm trying to stay on the right side of the, tra the side of the trail that I think is going to be the best line, but it's hard to tell sometimes. If you don't slow down over some of these rocks, and I'll bounce down over them and case it. I've done it twice now, once on the way up and once on the way down. If that pipe was wet, it would be slick. It already is. I felt it one time when I hit it on my tire went sliding on it. So you have to watch that pipe. The plastic pipe is just as bad as a steel pipe. They're slick. But there's some times here when you got to cross it. 
better off if you can cross it straight across, but you can't always do that. Maybe I'm getting down better. I don't know how far I came up into here. Quite a ways. Uh, back to the easy ride, maybe. Gee whiz. I got from tuckered out of breath going up that. I mean, I had to stop. I took about a 15, 20 minute break and drank some water. Because, I mean, it beat me up going up that thing. It was... Too much of a workout for an old fat man like me. Now that trail goes on up through there. Gate ahead. But, and I think that's the bad one actually. The one that I went up. I don't think this is the way I went. So that's the one I went up on the 300L. And didn't make it me and the boys. So probably not going to try it today. But knowing me, I'll come back. <laughs> I can't stop. Can't give up. I was coming up through here earlier in the last video, I think it was, and uh, I saw Johnny Castaway out here. Yeah, coming out of the brush. What he was doing, still trying to get off that island, I imagine. If you don't remember Johnny Castaway, it was an old screensaver a long, long time ago. It was like, that was the best screensaver ever. Never seen one like it. And they don't work on the new computers, so. But you can go on YouTube and look up Johnny Castaway's screensaver and check it out. It's starting to get hot. It was like 70 when I started today. I mean, when I went outside this morning, it was 51 when I started. I put a pork butt on the smoker. Now it's starting to get a lot warmer. What does it say? 74? I don't think that bad. Of course, it won't be a, as bad up here in the mountain. Get down there in the high desert, it'd be warmer. It's supposed to be 92 today. It still isn't too bad because it's not humid. Oh, thank God we made it down and now that mess. That was ridiculous. That was a work out. Oh, Johnny Castaway's still there. What he's doing there, I don't know. But he's still there, he's standing there. I think I'll just go on and leave him alone. I don't know nothing about that turkey. I was going to go on that road, but... And I'm packing a gun, but still. Let's forget the confrontation and go on out of here. First time I ever run into Johnny Castaway out on the trail. Oh, we got this hot rod strumming. Third gear. Feels good. Feels good. Check out the views. Pretty awesome up in here. And now they get moving a little bit, it's actually cooler. I'm just hot because I got up there <laughs> pushing this bike, <laughs> trying to get this thing up that mountain. And I got four out. So some of these trails I go on over here, there um, somebody's mining claims out in there. Evidently, they still do mining up in there. There's like three vehicles up in that one. It'd be a lot of work. Doing that mine. I don't know what kind of mining they're doing. If they got a hole in the ground or mining in the spring, 
panning for gold. I don't know what they're doing up in there. Up in that canyon. Who knows? Big old valley. That's the high desert down there where Hereford, Arizona. It's out here. Sierra Vista is that way. Naco is that way. You can also go to Bisbee that way. So that's why it's not so hot here. This desert uh, around Sierra Vista, everybody thinks Arizona, you know, super hot, dry desert, but it's not really like that here. And I think the last summer it got 99, but it's um, it's high desert, it's a 4,600 feet elevation here. And now you go up to Phoenix and Tucson. Oh my goodness, Tucson is not as bad as Phoenix, but the Phoenix is real bad. But Tucson's still a lot hotter than here. So really, down here by Sierra Vista, it's pretty darn nice year round. Oh, what I'm seeing over on that hillside. I guess it's a bunch of houses, maybe, or something. I can't really tell. Probably not going to get a glimpse of it. It's inside that mountain over there. There's too many trees here to see through. These roads are dusty. They're really not that bad. I mean, no worse than, you know, places in Missouri when it's dusty. There's a road back there. There's a car out there sitting there, a truck. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's rocks. White rocks. I think it's just, yeah, it's a bunch of white rocks. There's a road over in there too. Huh. I'd say it used to be a mine up in there. That's what that is, an old mine. There's them trucks. I think there's them trucks that was up in there at that mining claim. That one back there and this one here. I don't know what they're doing now. Probably go back over there on this road right here, it says road closed. It says road closed, yep. So I'd say that's how you get back in there, but it's, ooh, go across that cattle guard. Can't go to her now. Huh. Be kind of cool to go see. No outlet. Muffin Lane. Probably where the Muffin Man lives. They don't show it going nowhere on the map. Okay, guys. I'm going to get out here and head back to the house. Before it gets any hotter. Kick back. Got to check on my pork butt roast. Spritz it a little bit. It's going to be awesome. Having that for supper. The boys are coming over. Thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe down below. We'll catch you all on the next adventure. Right on.